Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my loves. First of all, I want to give you guys a quick shout out to all of you guys that follow me on social media, whether it's Snapchat, whether it's Instagram, whether it's uh, my Facebook page, business page. Um, thank you guys so very much for the love and support. I genuinely, authentically thank you guys. Um, it really helped me and I just want you guys to know that you do not go unnoticed. I appreciate all that support. For those of you guys that don't know, I apologize. We're late on our monthly readings. Uh, currently experiencing a family loss. So, uh, took a bit of time out or off and I am back 100% and, uh, swinging heart, you know, it's our comeback. So here we go. If you guys are interested in any of the services that I provide, whether it's a personal reading, whether it's spell work, whether it's getting the manifestation books or journals, you can find all of that on the description box below, as well as my socials. So you guys can follow me on there. Um, let's get into it. Leo, we have a lot of massive transformation. Obviously, everyone has experienced the eclipse season, right? It is transformative. For some of us, it is heartbreaking and it is just difficult, but... It's for our highest good. We are transforming ourselves. Now we have Pluto in retrograde. Right now it actually went retrograde in Aquarius. What does this mean? This means that unlike Mercury or Mars when it goes retrograde, this is a generational planet. So what that means is that when it goes retrograde, wherever area this placement is in your chart, there's almost this feeling of when Pluto goes into a specific house or a specific sign, it is going to transform that aspect, right? It's going to literally burn down that building to rebuild on a more solid foundation, a much more stronger, um, impenetrable uh, foundation. So when it goes retrograde, um, instead of disempowering you, what it actually does, it brings back the power of where you felt you were disempowered. So because through the basically burning to ashes metaphor, it is getting ready to, when it goes retrograde, it is getting ready to uh, basically arise a phoenix and rise from the ashes. So it is empowering you. It's bringing power. Remember, Pluto is not just death and rebirth, but it is also wealth. It is transform transformative. It's where you get your power. So in this retrograde part, you're going to feel very empowered. There are certain things or themes, depending on where it's placed in your chart, you're going to feel much more controlled um, or like you're more in control. You're going to feel more empowered. You're going to be more confident. It's literally taking your power back tenfold. So uh, wherever that is in your chart, it is definitely bringing to you uh, that empowering energy. And in September, it's going to, Pluto's going to be going back into Capricorn for the last dip before it stations in Aquarius, finally staying there. Um, so what does this mean? Last degrees of Capricorn, wherever that Pluto energy transformed you for the past 20 years, it is bringing that power back to you again, my love. So in that, it's almost like it's doing its last dance, right? It's been dancing between Aquarius and Capricorn for the past year and a half. Um, but with this one, it's basically it's saying it's goodbye. And when it leaves that sign for good, it is bringing to you power and wealth. So again, a lot of transformative energy here. We have Venus and Taurus, a very, it's in its sign. So it loves to be in that sign. So it's bringing blessings, abundance, opportunities, you know, with Jupiterian energy, uh, sorry, Venus energy. It is bringing to you all the blessings. It's a benefic planet. So it's bringing to you a lot of blessings, a lot of opportunities, a lot of abundance, um, so anyways, let's get into your reading, Leo. Let's see what we can expect. I call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides, spirits of light and love, my ascendant masters and spirits of divination. Please step forward. Allow me to see here. Sense beyond receive the messages loud and clearly for Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What can we expect for the month of May 2024? Here we go, Leo. Let's, oh, we got a cart flying out already. What'd I say? <laughs> I kept talking about uh, wealth, right? And power. Uh, it's you being empowered. Jesus, look at these cards. All right, Leo. 
Uh, we're definitely starting off amazing. I am seeing wherever you felt like you didn't have options or you didn't have opportunities or there was a bit of stagnant energy. For some of you guys, this could be career-wise. For others of you, this could be romantically. There is almost this feeling of opportunities start to line up for you. And for some of you guys, it could be like you are the month of May. You're going to be getting a lot of attention, Leo. A lot of attention, especially when we're talking about for you singles out there or if you're dealing with the relationship that is on and off and it just hasn't really stabilized. Thank the universe because they're doing you a solid. What they're showing you is that there is better out there for you. There is opportunities that are coming your way that are going to be much more enticing than the bullshit or the breadcrumbing you've been dealing with in the past, Leo. So again, it's almost like the stars are aligning in your favor. They're bringing to you recognition, some type of recognition, some type of higher elevation when we're talking about careers, finances. For some of you guys, you're making a change in your career. This could be something that could be a bit jarring for some of you guys is what I'm hearing. So what's coming to mind is if you've been in your career field or in that position or that job for like five years and you don't really want to leave because you're comfortable there. Um, it's almost like a, a you know, opportunity is going to come to you where it's very unexpected and you're like really thinking about it. What Spirit is telling you is listen to your intuition. If you feel excited about it, definitely jump into it wholeheartedly because it's going to definitely pay out and it's going to bring to you the recognition and the favor, uh, the favor of growth and advancement uh, definitely coming to you through that trusting the process, so to speak, is what's coming through. Um, again, what I'm hearing is for some of you guys, if you've been dealing with a relationship that just hasn't panned out or hasn't stabilized, what they're showing me here is you're no longer going to be settling for breadcrumbs. This could connect with some of you guys, uh, takes, take what resonates. Um, but you're, you're taking, you're going to start to see opportunities or people that come into your life that are much more aligned to what you're looking for when it comes to partnerships and you're making the decision you're like you know what enough is enough and i just look at that look at that i didn't even have to <laughs> i didn't even have to it it's it's similar to the cancer reading because i was already channeling before i pulled the cards but anyways what they're showing me here is you're making the decision and it's a, a jarring decision. It's something that you don't know if I should, like, I don't know if I should do is what I'm feeling. What's coming through is, again, if you've been dealing with a person, a specific person where you want stability and they just haven't given you that. And you're like hopeful about it. You're not trying to let go because you're scared. Okay, what if I do move on? What if I do pull away? What if I this? What if I that? And then they decide to change. Leo, they're not going to change. Okay, they're not going to change. And what's happening is that the universe is bringing to you the alignment of those that are willing to give you what you deserve. So I see you hesitant, but as we continue in the month, I see you guys making that decision for yourself, meaning you're choosing yourself. And in doing this, you're taking that, you know, that risk. I don't see it much as a risk. I see it as a calculated risk because it's something that it's necessary and it gets you out of your comfort zone, but also it brings you exactly what you're looking for. And as you can see here, we have the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles, okay? What does this mean? This means, you know, a soul tide or a connection to a soulmate or finding your soulmate. For some of you guys, it's realizing that your soulmate uh, could have potentially been someone that perhaps wasn't all put together in the past. Uh, and the reason I say that is because judgment is here. And we also have the seven of cups. So what does that mean? This is not to be confused, you guys, and take this exactly as it's coming through, okay? I'm going to try to slow myself down so I can be able to clarify. If you're dealing with someone and you have been dealing with someone and they haven't given you the stability you're looking for, they're not going to change, okay? Now, throughout the month of May, you're going to feel like you have to make a decision. It's going to feel scary because, you know, uncertainty. Either way, you're choosing yourself. And in choosing yourself, it brings to you that partner, that job opportunity, uh, that stabilization of your finances that you've been searching for, that you've been hoping for, or that you've been wishing for. You have to make that jump, okay? Now, if you haven't dealt with someone and someone recently came, right? And when I say recently, we're talking about like, you know, eclipse season. 
where someone from the past wasn't aligned or wasn't ready, right, to want to do better for themselves so that they could be a better partner to you, and that person recently came back around, you guys are getting it right this time. But again, not to be confused with the person that you're dealing with and have been dealing with. I'm talking about specifically those that have experienced someone from the past that it could have gone right, but it didn't because they didn't want to soul evolve, they didn't want to grow, or they didn't want to mature, okay? And in through this season, so we're talking about the past like three months, okay? If you've been dealing with someone that recently came back from the past three months ago, or before that, or sometime in that time frame, then give them the opportunity to show you that they've changed. Because it's almost like they are aligning to your destiny, okay? But this is not to be confused with the person you've been stuck on for a while and they just they just don't want to change. Why am I saying this? Because I do feel that when that person feels like they're slipping through your, or like you're slipping through their fingers, they're going to want to step up and they're going to feel the pressure. But I feel that in that sense, you would still be settling. And what Spirit is telling me is you need to choose yourself in order to be able to find what you're worthy of. And this is not just romantically, you guys. This could be in your career, okay? What do I mean by this? This could be that you need to get out of your comfort zone and you need to expand your horizon, maybe start looking for another position, start to shop around, see what they're paying. If they're not paying you what you deserve, you have every single right to ask for that raise. And if they don't give that raise to you, you have the green light to apply somewhere else because you're getting what you deserve. Leo, hear me. You're getting what you deserve. And it doesn't have to come at the expense of your sacrifice. It is just knowing. Judgment and King of Pentacles, star card. It is knowing that you deserve it. Get yourself in that alignment and everything's going to line up for you, Leo. All right, my loves, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.